Hi everyone, I'm Mike Gorin. We are assuming resuming day nine of the final grind of Final Fantasy VI Advance. So one, so just like last time, skipping phases, uh, phases one through four, and continuing on, so I could farm for Kazakiris. Anyway, I should get my notes up. Don't worry, they're all off screened. Alright. Just want to make sure. Come on, steal it. Alright. Once again, it's like minute one and it still won't. Come on, steal the freaking Kazakiri. Come on, steal the Kazakiri. So, come on, steal the Kazakiri. Steal the Kazakiri. Steal the fucking Kazak No. Steal the fucking Kazakiri. Thank you. Man, it took two minutes. Two minutes to steal the first item. Fuck. This is gonna hurt. Ooh. No, 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 no. Alright. There. Everything's nice and easy now. Until the end of this phase, in which case I have to prepare for Gamut next. Alright, don't... Okay, good. Took only three tries. Can go straight for the kills. Good. All right, that's good. Good, good, good. Oh, good. First try, chainsaw. Or I maxed on guard bracelet, so not stealing anything from them is not an issue. And the and the next couple phases are all a couple autopilots. And today we're gonna hit the sixty item threshold for all the uh, for all the items I'm currently farming. So that's cool. And yep, more and more 
instant kills here. There really isn't a whole lot more I can say, honestly. I'm just... <sighs> I was a little too tired to be playing Xenogears last night, so I mostly just got whatever little bit of sleep I could before heading off to work. And today's my day off, so I don't have anything to worry about that. I'm still trying to recover for I'm still trying to recover from my illness. Also still trying to get the cat down from the tree, but he needs to go down himself. Alright, uh Golem, got some, always summon Golem. And I, and this guy should go down real quick. Now let's see if we can get a quick red jacket. Come on, steal the red jacket! Okay, good. Didn't take too long. Hopefully we get we can steal this chick's boobs quick. I did. Two tries. So we're definitely making up for the Kazakiri debacle. Let's see if we can keep it up with safety, bit. Come on, steal it, oh, for God's sake. Come on, steal it. Thank you. <clears throat> and the first of four long battles in this sequence. And the only reason why this one is so long is because, in this phase, is because there's four of them we have to kill. But otherwise, it's no big deal. Ooh, well. God damn it. Seen so well. No, stop with the fears. It's 
Thank you. Come on. Enough with the fears. Nope. No Heartless Angel. We can't have Heartless Angel. And Blue Dragon sucks. In the third of our four long battles. Hopefully he doesn't double up on Flare at the end, unless it's towards the end. And that's... Alright, I'm going to... Save states here. In case of poison or hyperdrive. I'm going to use save seats here. Alright, the free status doesn't really bother me anymore. And that's it. I just have to use a tent here. And I just need a... Oop. <laughs> Just need to work my way up to 886. That's really all I have to do. I'm basically on autopilot with only some slight adjustments here and there to take care of the glue turns and the integer. Otherwise, and maybe Dark Behemoth. That and uh, the second to last fight in this in this uh, phase. <clears throat> I 
Oh yeah, I have to forget that uh, Overture doesn't... I keep thinking Overture's like a zombie thing, but it's not. I'm trying to think of it the same way as I would treat Fear from Skull Dragon Redux. And we are almost done with this phase. The Sio so good, no petrification. So I can move on to phase two. And I have to keep a watch out for Daedalus and Arium, even though I already maxed on Thornlet, so I don't need to use Ragnarok on them anymore. It'll let me know when Intinger's on this way. Alright, I think that's in the next fight. Yep. Nope. Uh, where are you? Stop. There you are. Good. Ooh. Taking care of the green glue turn. And hopefully no we get meteor not Ultima. Good. So we can proceed to phase three without healing. <clears throat> and that's because the shield dragons could actually kill. We won't be have enough, be able to deal enough damage to shield dragons if he used Ultima. Nor will we be able to kill the red glue turn without healing, so this will save us a lot of time. And as a reminder, we already oh come on. Yeah, I'm not breaking down the healing in two halves. Sorry. <clears throat> Gargantua is a boss. And I can just power through the phase four, and I'm going to I will be put in a position where I need to cure everyone's status ailments, which is right after a yellow glue turn. I think all yellow glue turns the last fight in this sequence. He's otherwise a pain in the ass to deal with. Come on, imp. Uh, Suna. <clears throat> now we're back in phase five, where we can resume our grind. Oh, 
24. Ooh, nope. He had to use Sam Shear on Edgar. The problem is that Edgar, I have health, can't help, can't really contribute to killing the reg turn. And if you don't kill him quickly, he can wreak havoc on you. But otherwise, that everything's a okay. <sighs> Fucking asshole. Come on, steal it. Steal the fucking air inker already. Thank you. Good. Nope. Or right, that'll work. Chainsaw, chainsaw. Come on, still the chainsaw. Thank you. And they didn't get a single attack out. That's good. Alright, everything's automated until fi until the or until Neslug. Until that right after I beat Death Gaze, then it, the, re the final section is uh, going to just be me trying to steal the remaining items while I'll navigate through some particularly tough bosses from the Soul Shrine. The ones I'm most concerned about are Neslug, uh, Skull Dragon, and Kaiser Dragon. Everyone else, no one else is that annoying, is that bad, I'm saying we're near as bad as those three, but they can get quite annoying. And I go fight the living and undead variants of Behemoth King. <sighs> he uses Ultima because, of course, he does. But that's fine. Uh, 
Right now, I need Celeste to heal my whole party. Be cooperative. Good. Now I'm asking for the Warring Triad to cooperate. Red Jacket, Red Jacket. Come on, Red Jacket. Thank you. Thank you. Two boobs and two tries. Ooh, no, 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 no. Don't get angsty. We still have... We still have quite a bit of safety bits left to steal. And this part should be pretty automated. Ooh. And though the Storm Dragon and the Earth Dragon can't really do anything, they could still be a bit of a nuisance. Gold dragons can't do anything at all. Holy dragons could still use Harless Angel, but otherwise aren't really a problem. Alright, well, that works. That works too. No. No Heartless Angel, no Heartless Angel, no Heartless Angel. Good. Blue Dragons can't do anything to me, so... What am I doing? I can't do anything to the sky. Well, I could kill him with slots, but that wastes resources. I 
All right, so a bit of an error there, but I can manage. Using save states here because I have to. So, you know what, I'm going to keep this one up there because he only got to use freezing uh, absolute zero once. Oh, that's not a big deal. I'm going to use a tent, save my game. Power off. And use a ton of save states just in case. And we have 28 minutes, uh, well, wait, 27, 26 and a half. And 27 minutes is fine. So, lots and lots of time. Which probably means we're going to have some technical difficulties sooner or later. Why, well, just cause. I just cause. And this sequel in this phase is pretty much automatic. There's nothing to worry about. Unless one of my characters gets petrified towards the end. Alright, no petrifications this episode, so I can just keep going. Decent look in spite the Kazakir the early Kazakiri frustrations.
All right. Uh, integers coming up, so I got cast stop on them. Let's do this. Good, double meteor. That's what I want to see. Anything to worry about other than healing after glue turn. Come on, I'm not putting up with pin with side attacks. go straight for phase four and this process is also fully automated however every once in a while I can steal a master scroll from yellow glue turn which doesn't really do anything since I have to go through this whole entire thing 99 times to get all the uh, drops from the redux dragons So this is what I'm going to just keep going at. However, I had much luck stealing the, uh, huh. Celis is the only one to have been infected. Oh yeah, I have to... I'm not the gamma phase yet. More 24, so 28 is up next. First strike has a carry. Come on. Give me the Kazakiri. Give me the fucking Kazakiri. Thank you. And now I find another red glue turn, so I'm gonna have to heal immediately afterwards. And 
in the gladius is mine to take. Looks like this is going to be my starting point. Come on, steal the air anchor. Steal the air anchor. Thank you. Nope. Stop killing Edgar! Thank you. Well, that works. Trying to land on a frame that doesn't involve missile or snowball. You have fucking fireball. Use it. God damn it. Thank you! Finally stole a chainsaw. I can make a beeline for the end. And these dragons are sent to take out, so I'm basically oh, uh. The reason why I can't skip these uh, dragons either is because they all have guaranteed drops that are necessary. That's the Magus Rod, and I believe this is Crystal Orb. Yep. I think the Skull Dragon's the only one I don't ha have anything I need, and that's the Muscle Belt. And as well as the Holy Dragon, which you actually have to steal from. That's the Holy Lance already maxed on those. And I believe this one is Santatsukin and Mirakumo. Dolahan, which you can steal X Potions and Genji uh, gloves from. And these are behemoth suits, which I are maxed out on. And you can also steal Murasamis from one of them, which I believe is I maxed out on already. Master Scroll. 
These guys drop big elixirs, by the way. And this should be easy. Now I have to heal. Sun Golem. Hit the head. Thank you. Guardians, you can get ribbons and force armor, I believe, from them by steal from them. Come on, give me the red jacket. Come on, red jacket. Thank you. Now, let preferably boobs. Come on. Give me your boobs. Give me your goddamn boobs. Thank you. Finally stole our boobs. Hope the safety bit. Oh. Hope the safety bits fare better. Yes, they did. So now I'll have about 11 minutes and change to get take out of this final gauntlet. And then I can lay, then I can lay this, and then I could lay day 9 to rest. Storm dragons can't do anything unless they land tornado. Earth dragons can't do much other than heavy hits. And gold dragons can't do shit at all. Land a critical hit at for his first move. That's fine. As long as it doesn't land.
this will probably be the decisive blow. And I was right. Just in case I get Heartless Angel. Alright, and Blue Dragons can't do anything at all, so... I'm going to start for the kill. As long as you don't double up on Flare at, towards, at the very end, I'm good. Getting sleepy now, so... But, it, but that's not a problem. I only have one more battle to go, and I can rest easy. Caraga. I just realized that I forgot to do save states, so I lucked out that I got Quake instead. So, everything looks good. Phase four. That's fine. And man, I made very good time today. So, here's my tent. And by the way, the enemy I steal Kazakiris from will also drop these guaranteed. Which is why my tent supply never needs to be replenished. So, just uh, FYI, so with all that said, it's time to wrap up. If you like what you see here, leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. This is Mike Gorn, sign out.